so this video is designed just to help you um, feel confident about um, the layout of Photoshop, the interface, and if you do come into any problems, how to um, reset the interface of Photoshop, so the actual layout of everything on here. So for instance here, I've, um, I've changed my toolbar, so you can change that quite easily here, um, but I may have opened it like this and I'm, I'm not confident, I may have lost a few tools and I'm thinking how do I get those tools back, how do I change the layout of it. You simply do this, you go into Windows and you go to Workspace Essentials Default and if it still hasn't fully uh, reformatted it to the format that you're used to then you press Reset Essentials and now you can see the toolbar has changed. This has changed as well, so now you can clearly see um, the different um, options that you've got. So you've got your layers, you've got your channels, your paths, etc. So, and very importantly, you've got your history here as well. So, you've got here, this is file open, so if you want to make a new document or open a new file, this is where you would go. Um, some of you are probably already used to using the automate contact sheets so this is where you can make your contact sheets and I've got a separate video for that but generally when you're flicking through you've got your edit here image is the key um, drop down menu that I use an awful lot you've got layer as well which we will be doing more developed uh, videos looking at layer type selecting um, masks and selecting various choices for filters and if I'm teaching you already uh, you will be familiar with the camera raw filter which is just under here as well um, we're not really touching on the 3d but we may well do that could be something that we come back to and this is where you may want to um, view certain things rulers etc lock guides you can do that you can zoom in and zoom out here and then Windows, this is where you may, um, if you can't find something and you want to find it, uh, the Windows will show you and then you can just tick on certain things and that will appear up, um, uh, these different dialog boxes will appear. So, there we go, so we can just close that for now. So I'm just on my crop bar there crop tool there so I've got my image here and the first thing I want to introduce you to is um, the layers okay so my image is here and this appears here so if you go over here you've got your layers and then it says background and then I've got a little padlock symbol now if I right click on that I can go and create another layer and this I is a duplicate layer and then I can change the title so I'm going to call this auto tone like so now you can see here this is a copy of my background okay um, and this is the auto tone layer and you've got the eye on and off like so so once it's highlighted gray that means that you are working on that layer now if you've got an image and you just want to make some quick adjustments just to enhance and improve your images, you can do this here. You go into image, drop down to auto tone. And there you go. And you can see the difference in the picture. So you are given the, um, the software, Photoshop, um, the option to decide for you what they consider to be the best auto tone so this is where you would adjust your levels if you were doing it by hand and if you can see here the eye on that's that's the after and that's how it was before okay so this is another layer and the changes are not affecting the background at all now I click back on background I duplicate the layer again and this time I'm going to call it auto contrast like so ok 
Okay. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay. And then I'm going to go into auto contrast. And there's the auto contrast. And then here's the auto tone as well. So you can see gradually the picture enhancing and um, becoming brighter, more saturated as well. Certainly a lot more contrast. Um, the, the lighting's a lot stronger as well. Whilst the original image, if I click off these, then we just see it's very flat, it's very muted. So now I'm going to duplicate another layer. So remember, right click, duplicate layer, and this one I'm going to call auto color. And then we OK that. Okay, so there's the auto color. And just as we did before, we go to image and we go to auto color. And then you can see the difference there. The colours are much warmer, you see here it's much cooler, um, here you've got very strong kind of vibrant sand colour there, auto contrast, auto tone. And the other thing you can do, you can stack your layers, so you may decide actually I want the auto colour on top. So I'm literally clicking on it, holding, holding the mouse down and then just dragging. You can see the fist there, the hand that's grabbing hold of it, and then you can decide which layer you want um, to be at the top. So the top layer will be the first layer, like so, and then if I click on that, you see the auto contrast, auto tone, auto color. So you're building up the layers together. Um, you may also want to change um, your background, okay, and you can remove um, this padlock. So you can rename that. So we can just call this, um, I don't, um, let's just call first image or first layer. Or this. Yeah, that would be fine. Like so, and you can see now the padlock picture has, um, the padlock has come off the, the image. And again, if I choose to, I can put that at the top. So depending on how you layer and stack your layers, the top, top one will be the most prominent one, okay? So you can be quite sort of subtle with that. And then it's just a case of, um, saving the image so then i can go to file save as okay so it's a psd um, file now if it's a psd it means then it's a photoshop file and it gives you the option to keep your layers okay so with this highlighted blue if you decide you want to open that file again and you want to change your layers. Now rem remember this is one image, but if you're producing something with graphics, with text, maybe a brochure, maybe a flyer of some sort, a logo, then this is a really useful tool because you may send your work to a client and they say, well actually we'd just like to change your logo, move it here then because you've got your layers, you can make those adjustments very easily. So we go yes to the layers. Remember, make sure you know where it's been saved. So it's been saved on the desktop. Um, do you want a new folder on the desktop? You just um, press this and then you can name it as a new folder. And then you can press save. Now, this will always come up. Make sure this box is ticked, yeah? Um, this means that the, that the uh, file will be compatible to people that you send it to. And then you can click this, don't show again. And then this dialog box should not open again. And then you press OK. So that's a very, very basic little intro into layers and using the image auto choices. Thank you.